Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios Tech and Reviews, and welcome to part three of video series about why your BIOS does not show. Part one was a general information video with different things, including updates for the AMD Fury cards. Part two was an update for NVIDIA specific, and this one will be general cards, including everything else. At the end of the video will be NVIDIA again, hidden updates for the 3000 series for one, and of course, resizable bar as well, if you're looking for the update to support that. What is something a lot of people have not considered? Because I mentioned about the display, but a VR headset is a display. So your VR headset will take over the BIOS display if you have it plugged in. Well, there's also the solution of connecting your computer to a TV and changing out of UEFI BIOS and remove that and then choose something else like CMS or whatever they call it. There's different options, legacy BIOS, and then your 3000 series cards and whatnot should work depending on the problem you're facing. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is your manufacturer's graphics card. So if you have an MSI RTX 3060, for instance, that says very little when it comes down to it because there's like three different models of different cards. So you got to find the exact model, look it up on the manufacturer MSI's website, for instance, or whoever your manufacturer is, and oftentimes included through their software for their product, there are often, not always, firmware updates for your graphics cards. If you don't know what GPU you have, it's time to use GPU Z or GPU Z. You'll have to go to download it. And then of course we have to go to download again. And then you choose which place you want to download it from. Now, once you have it downloaded, you'll have this program. Once it's installed, it tells me Nvidia GeForce RTX 3070 for my card, but doesn't tell me what my card specifically is, which model. So I'm going to look up and I can see my exact card name right here. And from there, I can actually figure out from the manufacturer, which card I have and to download the firmware. So AMD, Nvidia, both cases, go to the manufacturer's website. You could always go to AMD's website, but the manufacturer of the card is the first place to go. And sometimes your computer just won't run UEFI because not all your parts are compatible with a UEFI BIOS. And sometimes converters, so converting, say, DisplayPort to something else, or HDMI to DVI and whatnot, sometimes can stop your BIOS from showing. You're into tech, gaming, hardware, computer stuff, don't forget to subscribe to Not BIOS to help this channel grow because you help me and I will do more also to help you as well. Leave comments below if you have any questions. I'll try my best to help you. Don't forget, I'm on Discord and it's free to join. So for resizable bar and for firmware update regarding right directly from NVIDIA itself, the 3000 series. NVIDIA has their own GPU firmware update tool for display ID for the 3000 series. We can see applicable products, GeForce RTX 30 series. So if you are having an issue, this might be what you're looking for. You can see the solutions, booting using DVI or HDMI, boot using different monitor, change boot mode from UEFI to legacy, boot using an alternate graphics source, secondary or integrated graphics. That reminds me, sometimes your BIOS is actually going through the integrated graphics on your system. So try the port built into your motherboard if your graphics card is not displaying. And you can also choose through your BIOS, PEG or whatnot for first display and change that. Usually you have two different options. Another update is NVIDIA resizable bar firmware update tool. So keep in mind these are firmware. So for firmware, make sure you do not have a power off situation or you may screw up your graphics card because you have to get the update fully done. Otherwise, your graphics card may not work. So keep that in mind. So resizable bar doesn't help NVIDIA graphics cards that much, at least not yet, but you can at least enable it through this update. 
So this update is mostly pertainable to the 3000 series cards. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.